This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Kanye West was removed from Apple Music and returned to Apple Music within the same day under a new distributor called, uh, La- uh, what's it called? Uh, I'll tell you the name. It's Label Engine, right? They do a lot of uh, collecting of YouTube revenue for a lot of musicians. They work with musicians a lot. I think... Takashi has a is it either them or someone there's one that's like them collective music or something like that that has a uh, another deal like that but um Ye has uh dealt with the following release of Vultures 1 um but Ozzy Osbourne took to Twitter to accuse him of sampling Black Sabbath without permission um, and said that, you know, he doesn't want to be associated with them. I don't even know if he owns the copyright to that. And Donna Summers' estate called him out. But maybe they're cleared and he doesn't know. Maybe the state doesn't have the... Maybe the publisher has right to approval or disapproval. You never know. These things get complicated, you know, and, you know, it could be whatever it is. But, you know, they, they want to disassociate themselves regardless because of Kanye's comments in the past two years um now blueface was served by soldier boy's baby mom before he went to jail yeah is this girl really gonna be like that where you smashed him you guys smashed right and he wasn't really lying and yeah because he trolled you you're gonna lose this suit right because you don't have a case and now he can counter and now you you're gonna have to pay him. It's a dumb way to 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 uh, go about this. And you know what? Soldier Boy has made like Soldier Boy better watch what he's doing because he makes so many threats over the past seven years that people don't act on because it's Soldier Boy. You know what I mean? Like it's like you know what what you know Soldier Boy dissing you or whatever. It's like whatever you know. But like you should have told his baby mom to chill out because. This is just part of the trolling game that he that he partakes in, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. Now, Drake um, was labeled uh, modern-day Michael Jackson by Cameron. And he's, in a way, right. Because it's the, it, it, not just music, well, not musically, but as far as, like, the run Drake's on, Cameron isn't wrong. Uh, Drake is on... A 15-year run now. Michael Jackson had about, what, a 30-year run? In rap, we haven't seen a consistent 15-year run. Consistent. Not Jay-Z. You can't say Jay-Z. It's not. That's not a consistent run. Jay-Z diverted from music and kept his music run going. Jay-Z took time off, don't forget many years and then returned back to music and had a rebirth through like beyond you know it's just like it's not the same he wasn't doing the same numbers drake's doing consistently you can argue that all you want go look at the stats the only reason jay-z sold platinum the first week of magna carta uh the album before that um and the album after is it came with um it came with like attached to like Sprint. So like a million phones would have Jay-Z's album on it or it come with Heineken where they would buy the album sales. Um, It came attached to something, some brand that was purchasing it. Drake's not doing that. Now, I can argue many bad things about Drake as well, but... I'm just saying, as far as that, that is what it is. Now, we got this Fannie Willis situation. She's the one who brought charges against Young Thug because supposedly she had a, some type of friendship or relationship with Big Nut. Or Nut, you know, and that's wife and Lucci's guy. Supposedly, Young Thug's crew had something to do with his passing. But now she's under fire because she, you know, took up, she had a subordinate underneath her that she hired, that's hired with tax dollar money. And uh, she has a relationship with him. It almost looks like she hired her boyfriend to work for her with tax money. And they're spending trips, tax money. Not not her pay. We're talking about out of like 
you know, uh, the money used for <laughs> not 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 money they're paid with, you know, like petty cash and stuff, you know, like expenses. You can't do that, you know. But she's good at she's good at defending herself as she should be. She's the DA, right? So she's making, you know, she's she's strong on the stand, and she decided to take a tax. She got caught red-handed, and she's doing her best to get her way out of it. And you know what? Things are so crooked nowadays, she will be able to talk her way out of it. But it just shows you where we're at in society, man. You know? I Look what she's doing with Young Thug. It's crazy. Bro, there's not even a real case there. It's not even a solid case. Wife and Lucci. The case was so weak, he got a plea deal. He's, he's going to be out in three months. Out of all the people arrested in the Young Thug case, I think like 15 of them have plea deals. It's crazy. You can't make this up, bro. She has a bunch of other cases that are just falling apart. It's just, it's a mess. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.